Hey guys, Mark McMahon here. Hope you had a great week. Today I want to talk about net worth, what it means to me basically, and uh, how you guys can use it uh, and apply it in your life. Now, if that's something that's interesting, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell for notifications. So net worth to me is more of a scoreboard sort of a thing where I can kind of see where I'm at at any given time with what I owe on my properties versus what I've got um, paid off on them. So in other words, I get to find out how much money I would be worth if I sold everything. So that's what net worth is. It's not vitally important, but I love knowing it and you will too. And it's certainly not something you're going to tell somebody on the street when you walk down the road and go, Hey, my name is Mark and I have a net worth of $75 million. How about you? Nobody cares. Really, seriously, nobody cares. But I know you do. And cash flow, obviously, yes, I know cash flow is much more important. But net worth, it's kind of nice to know where you're at. So anyway, take a look and I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes here. Have you guys ever wondered what net worth meant when you hear these hoity-toity, really rich guys talking about, oh, my net worth is a billion dollars. Want to know how they figure it? I'll show you. It's really easy. And don't worry if you don't have a net worth. Don't worry if you have a negative net worth. I don't want you to have that, but that's not what this story is about. I want you guys to know how to figure your net worth because whether you're negative or you have none or you have very little, you're going to have a lot someday because I believe in you. So let's figure out what your net worth is. All right. Net worth is basically your assets minus your debts. So an asset can be anything. It can be this super cool card holder that my dad left me. It can be this water testing pen I found in the garage when I was cleaning the garage and it'll probably stay on my desk for the next two years. That's assets. Those things are assets. I owe no money on them, so there's no debt. But most assets, you know, your big assets are gonna have some debt. Your house may be worth 500,000, but you owe 400,000. Your car may be 20,000, but you owe 10. Same thing, 401k, nothing but value. No debt. Jewelry, hopefully you guys don't have debt on jewelry. These are the two things I never want to see ever, ever, ever is debt on jewelry or furniture. There's a lot of debt I don't want to see, but these two kill me because you can buy all that stuff used, you know. You buy your wife a nice diamond ring for four or $5,000, which I hope you're not spending, versus $15,000 at the jewelry store. Anyway, let's not, let's not go down that road. And furniture, Craigslist, hello. Think about the people that couldn't afford the furniture they bought and they have to sell it to get some money. That's what you want to buy. Stocks, obviously just an asset. Anyway, so we got an asset column with a total of $600,000. We got a debt column of $420,000. So you take the 600 minus 420, because that's your debt, and you end up with 180. So you have uh, you have a net worth of $180,000. Not bad, but wait just a minute. You might have more. We didn't put on credit cards, did we? We didn't put on your student loans. Maybe you owe your mom money or your dad money or you'll own the loan shark some money. That's a debt. All these kinds of things have to go on there too. Every debt has to go on. Every asset has to go on. And don't be crazy with your uh, asset valuations either. If you paid 500 bucks for a Gucci belt, it ain't worth 500 bucks now. Sorry. Put the real worth on there so you guys know a real number because you want to see that grow. This is, this is part of the fun of investing is watching those assets grow and watching your net worth grow. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning going, hmm, I've got $3.5 million net worth, baby. It's awesome. It's a good feeling. All right. So we got... 180 here, we got 35 there. So we take that minus that, and then we end up with $145,000, right? So we have this debt, we have this debt, and we take it off of the net worth that we had from here. I'm making this more complicated than it is, but anyway, end up with a net worth of $145,000. You guys know simple math, it's easy. $145,000 of net worth is pretty darn good start, but I wanna see more, okay? That's what you own right now, but you're, you owe too much, all right? People are going to look at that. They're going to say, man, you've got a lot of debt. You need to get that debt paid off. So the bank looks at you and says, wow, you're a good risk. I like, I like what I see. 
they own a house, they've got debt on that house, but they don't know anything on their car, they don't know on furniture or jewelry or anything stupid like that that we don't like. Their revolving debt, which is credit cards, that's all paid off too. That's what a bank wants to see. All right, so make sure you get your net worth as high as you can. I like net worth, but I like cash flow better. But I like watching that net worth, it's a lot of fun. And pay off your debt, guys, pay off your debt. That's your assignment for this weekend. I want you to figure out what your net worth is. And if it's zero, I don't care. If it's negative, fix it. We're gonna make sure in the next year that you have a positive net worth. You're gonna own a piece of property. All right, guys, so that's it in a nutshell, how to figure out your net worth. And again, like I said in the video, maybe you don't have anything right now. It doesn't matter. The thing that matters is that you're here with me today and you're trying. You're looking into it. You're working on it. Download the list I have below and you can get started a little bit quicker by going over the list and starting to do some of the items on that list, which is paying down debt, getting pre-qualified, doing all the things that you can do to get ready to invest in your first property. Also, check out this video over here. It's going to be pretty helpful too. I'm here every week. I look forward to seeing you again and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there. Really good stuff.